We got a bunch of fucking vampires out there trying to get in here and suck our fucking blood. And that's it, plain and simple. And I don't want to hear anything about, I don't believe in vampires. Because I don't fucking believe in vampires. But I believe in my own two eyes. And what I saw is fucking vampires. Now, do we all agree that what we are dealing with is vampires? Yes. You too, preacher? I don't believe in vampires, but I believe in what I saw. Good for you. All right, now that we all agree that we're dealing with vampires, what do we know about vampires? Crosses hurt vampires. Do we have a cross? In the motor home. In other words, no. Wait a second. I mean, just look around. We got crosses all over the place. All you got to do is put two sticks together. You got a cross. Yeah, right? he's right. Peter Cushing does that all the time. OK, I'll buy that. So we got crosses covered. What else? Wooden stakes in the heart been working pretty good so far. And garlic, sunlight, holy water. I'm not sure. Doesn't silver have something to do with vampires? That's werewolves. I, I know silver bullets are werewolves, but I'm sure silver has something to do with vampires. Well, does anybody have any silver? OK, then who cares? Has anybody here read a real book about vampires, or are we just remembering what some movie said? I mean, a real book. You mean, you mean like a Time Life book? I take it the answer is no. OK, then. What do we know about these vampires? Well, we know they got superhuman strength, but we can hurt them. Yeah. Another thing, though, if you're going to drive a chair leg through a human, you better be one strong son of a bitch. I mean, human body is one rough, tough machine. <laughs> but these vamps, these vamps, they're, they're, they have soft bodies. The texture of their skin is softer. They're mushier. You can push it right through them. Conceivably, if you hit one hard enough, take their head right off. Actually, our best weapon against these satanic cocksuckers is this man. He's a preacher. As far as God's concerned, we might as well all be a piece of shit, but he is one of the boys. Only one problem. His faith isn't what it used to be. I've had enough of your taunts. I'm not taunting you, Jacob. We need you. A faithless preacher doesn't mean shit to us. A servant of God can take a cross and shove it up these monsters' asses. A servant of God can bless the tap water and make it a weapon. Jacob, I know why you lost your faith. How could holiness exist? if your wife can be taken away from you and your children. I've always said that God can kiss my ass, but I just changed my lifetime tune about 30 minutes ago. Because I know that whatever is out there trying to get in is pure evil straight from hell. And if there is a hell, and those sons of bitches are from it, then there has got to be a heaven, Jacob. There's got to be. So which are you? Are you a faithless preacher? Or are you a mean motherfucking servant of God? I'm a mean servant of God. 